meaning of that name, Emmanuel, God with us. Emmanuel, it is wisdom's mystery, God with us. Sages look at it and wonder. Angels desire to see it. The plumb line of reason cannot reach halfway into its depth. The eagle wings of science cannot fly so high, and the piercing eye of the vulture of research cannot see it. God with us. It is hell's terror. Satan trembles at the sound of it. His legions fly apace. The black-winged dragon of the pit quails before it. Let Satan come to you suddenly and do you but whisper the word, God with us, and back he falls, confounded and confused. Satan trembles when he hears that name. God with us. It is the laborer's strength. How could he preach the gospel? How could he bend his knees in prayer? How could the missionary go into foreign lands? How could the martyr stand at the stake? How could the confessor acknowledge his master? How could men labor if that one word were taken away? God with us is the sufferer's comfort is the balm of his woe, is the alleviation of his misery, is the sleep that God gives to his beloved, is the rest after exertion and toil. God with us is eternity's sonnet, is heaven's hallelujah, is the shout of the glory, is the song of the redeemed, is the chorus of angels, and is the everlasting oratorio of the great orchestra of the sky. God with us. God with us. Uh, what I want to do is I want to actually read the code nor the black code. Uh, we've taken a look at this. We went through like uh, six of these. Uh, so uh, I think I think we should just go through all uh, 2032. How's it? 20, 20, 20, 27. Is it five, six, seven, eight, nine? See, article twenty-eight isn't there, is it? That's twenty. Third, twenty minus uh, yeah, thirty minus one. So that's twenty-nine. So it looks like twenty-eight might be missing. It looks like a few are missing. X is 10 in Roman numerals. V is 5 in 1s or in that. So this would be 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. Now, when the letter I, the Roman numeral 1, comes before a symbol that represents a, n a number that means minus one so this is 10 and this would be 10 minus one which would be nine now this only comes in brackets uh, of one So let's go back up here, and as we go through, you'll understand that's one, that's Article 2, that's Article 3. 
Now, this is 5, so this is what 4 looks like. So as we go through these, you'll see 5, 6, 7, and here's what 8 looks like. The V represents 5, and then the I represents 1s, and they only put 3 1s in a row. So to represent 4, again, it's the I before something. Um, so as you see, the V represents 5, so that means the I before the V means 4. The X represents 10, so the I before the X represents 9. So it's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Excuse me, 10 is missing. 10 would be an X by itself. So this is some interesting things that mathematically don't add up uh, because what you know why would they have any of these missing? I I can't believe I even fucking noticed that. Oh man. All right. Uh, the code nor initially took shape in Lewis the uh, what we got fourteenth fourteenth etic. So we see E D I. TC, right? Dick means what? To, to, to dict means to dictate or something like that, right? Let's, uh, let's understand what the hell's going on here. So they just always add what they want. So the word dict. Okay, see, that's why you just, you don't even fuck around with these people, man. Dict is probably short for dictorum. No. No, D I C T means something separate. And then not, nobody's going to tell me. Uh, statement in passing. Obara, 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 dictate, dictum, dictator. Agent of noun, dictator, transfers. One who has absolute uh, dictatum pad, the judge in present uh, expression of opinion in that regarding the bond. Binding or decisive literally mean something said accidentally. And he's uh, I'm, trying, I'm trying to figure out what the word dict means because. It's, it's where we get the word dictionary and shit. You know, um, but an edict, we, I'm sure we can find that, what that means. But, an official order or proclamation. Okay, see, a proclamation uh, and, a, and an order are two different things. A, a procl we we just went over proclamation, right? But and and so now we have a problem because that's going two ways on a one way street. Uh, a proclamation. Uh, oh, really? Okay, so they threw an official announcement in there. Okay. Um, great importance. All right. So the edict is a proclamation, which is okay. So official is an in word. Uh, the definition official okay so my bad it's going the same way okay an official order or proclamation issued by a person in authority all right so what we're looking at is their king louis the fifth i mean 14th uh proclamation of 18 excuse me 1685 although subsequent decrees modified a few <laughs> of the code's provisions. The first document established 
the main lines for policy of slavery right up to the 17, uh, excuse me, right up to 1789. The very first article expels all Jews from the colonies. Jews played a significant but hardly dominant role in the Dutch colon uh, colony colonies of the Caribbean region, but were not allowed to own property or slaves in the French colonies. The edict or proclamation of great importance uh, also insists that all slaves be instructed as Catholics and not as Protestants. Now you understand what's going on, right? This idea of Christianity, Christianity is real bullshit, right? Christians were just the management. These are the people that came and moved in the towns later. The Catholics, the Jesuits, uh, those are the people that were here first. Uh, 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 Columbus says he sells in the name of Christ with, with the letter from the Pope. He knows he's Catholic. Most of these people don't even realize to 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 everybody else there's no difference you worship the same god this thing called jesus the prophets were the mouthpiece of the creator once they were enslaved in rome there ain't nobody writing nothing not to be published Paul writes letters. Paul is who? Flavius Josephus. He gets the Flavius name because he's adopted into the family of Vespasian and Titus. And you always got to ask yourself, why? If Titus burned down Jerusalem, why is there a book? How insane is that? Black people don't understand. It's just a military campaign because you are the Hebrews of the, of the Bible. You're all cursed that this shall happen because you keep worshiping other gods, including yourselves. Now, The edict also insists that all slaves be instructed as Catholics and not as Protestants. For the most part, the code concentrated on defining the condition of slavery, passing the, uh, passing the condition through the mother, not the father, and establishing harsh controls over the conduct of those enslaved. Slaves had virtually no rights, though the code did enjoin masters to take care of the sick and old. Now, we can guess what enjoined means, but enjoying, 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 and <laughs> to prescribe, impose uh, from stern Latin yeah, whatever, to impose, to inflict, subject, to assign, from Latin, uh, to join, fasten, to attach, fixture, to inflict, to attack, to impose. Well, a root is uh, to join together, a marriage, right? union indict edict of the king on the subject of the policy regarding the islands of the french america uh, march 1685 recorded at the sovereign council of saint dominic in six of uh, uh, may in 1687 so as soon as they had started seizing our ancestors this is what was going on. Now remember, this is the French. 
All right. Uh, remember, they had uh, gone into the what? The Micmac people, and then they were forced out uh, eventually by the uh, what? Uh, I believe the British or something. Like that. I'm not I'm not too uh, good on on that history. I don't think that happened at the time yet. Uh, this is obviously earlier on at 1685. I remember uh, 1492 Columbus reaches here. Spain and Portugal are already uh, conquesting other regions of South America. So. Uh, 1685, recorded at the Sovereign Council of St. Dominique, I can do this already, right? Louis, by the grace of God, King of France and Navarre, to all those here present and to those to come, greetings. In that we must also care for all people that divine providence has put under our tutelage. We have agreed to have the reports of the officers we have sent to uh, to our American island studied in our presence. These reports inform us of their need for our authority and for our justice. In order to settle these issues, and inform them that even though they reside infinitely far from our normal abode, we are always present for them. Not only through the reach of our power, but also by the promptness of our help towards their needs. For these reasons, and on the advice of our council, and of our certain knowledge, absolute power, and royal authority, we have declared, ruled, and ordered, and declare, rule, and order, that the following pleases us. Hmm. Article 1. We desire and we expect that the edict of the 23rd of April 1615, so this is much sooner, so this is 1685, now, in 1615 of the late king, our most honored lord and father, who remains glorious in our memory, be executed in our islands. So, they expressed Early in uh, uh, 1615, that their king, <laughs> that's, that's a trip, who remains glorious in our memory, be executed in our lands. This accomplished, we enjoin to all officers to chase from our islands all the Jews who have established residence there as they all declare enemies of Christianity, as with all declared enemies of Christianity, we command them to be gone within three months of the day of issue of present order, at the risk of compensation of their persons and their goods. Article 2. All slaves that shall be in our islands shall be baptized and instructed in Roman, Catholic, and apostolic faith. We enjoin the inhabitants who shall purchase newly arrived Negroes to inform the governor and intendant of said islands of this fact within no more than eight days or risk being fined an arbitrary amount. They shall give the necessary orders to have them instructed and baptized within a suitable amount of time. Article 3. We forbid any religion other than Roman, Catholic, and Apostolic from being practiced in public. We desire 
that offend offenders be punished as rebels, disobedient of our orders. We forbid any gathering to that end, which we declare to be convincing, illegal, sedacious, and the subject and subject to the same punishment as would be applicable, uh, 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 applicable to the masters who permit it or accept it from their slaves. Article four, no persons assigned to positions of authority over Negroes shall be other than a member of Roman Catholic apostolic faith and the master who assigned these persons shall risk having said Negroes compensated. The arbitrary, do you understand what that means? Anybody assigned positions, anybody employed by the master has to be, what, a member of the Roman faith, the Catholic faith, or the apostolic faith. It has nothing to do with the Old Testament. It never has, except for the knowledge about who the people are and where they disappeared to. Remember, it's about the lost 10 tribes. They claim they already know where Jacob is and they already took him in and they don't destroy him over there. because they know if they do, the Creator will raise up rocks. That means they'll shake their, their soil so hard. They'll destroy everything through earthquakes. <laughs> you see all the earthquakes happening here all the time. So basically, think about this. What it's saying is, if you hire someone to work over the slaves as management, they have to believe in Christ. That's, that's, that's apostolic is Paul. Right? Paul's teaching. Magnified. We'd have nothing if it wasn't for Paul telling us where to look. Paul writing to each of the Je Corinthians. Ephesians to the Thessalonians. Paul, who somehow enters the, the family of Flavius. Flavius Titus, his father, Flavian Josephus, Emperor. Emperor. So here it says, uh, whoever works for them has to have some kind of belief in Christ. All right, uh, uh, Roman Article 5. We forbid our subjects who belong to the so-called Reformed religion from causing any trouble or unforeseen difficulties for our other subjects or even for their own slaves in the free exercise of Roman Catholic and apostolic faith at the risk of exemplary I'm stuttering so bad I can't pronounce the word I'm gonna faint exemplary punishment article 6 we enjoin all our subjects of whatever religion and social status they may be to observe Sundays and holidays that, observe, that are observed by our subjects of Roman Catholic and apostolic faith. We forbid them to work nor their slaves work on said days from midnight until the following midnight. They shall neither cultivate the earth, manufacture sugar, nor perform any other work at the risk of a fine and 
and an arbitrary punishment against the masters and of confiscation of our officers uh, as much sugar worked as, uh, by said slaves before being caught. Mm, pardon me. All right, Article 7. We forbid them also to hold slave markets or any other market on said days at the risk of similar punishments and compensation of merchandise that shall be discovered at the market and an arbitrary fine against the settlers. Uh, Article 8. We declare that our subjects, who are not of Roman Catholic and apostolic faith, be incapable of controlling any valid marriage in the future. We declare any child born from such unions to be bastards, and we desire that said marriages be held and reputed and hold and repute as actual concubine concubinage okay so they they they, they say they the marriage is is, is fraud and, and it's just a concubine just your living girlfriend <clears throat> so So if you aren't you aren't Christian, you can't you can't marry, right? And any child you have, uh, it's a bastard. All right, here we go with uh, nine. Free men who shall have one or more children during concubinage with their slaves, together with their masters who accept it, shall each be fined two thousand pounds of sugar. If they are the masters of the slaves who produce said children, we desire, in addition to the fine, that the slave and the children be removed and she and they be sent to work at the hospital. Again, uh, never, excuse me, never to gain their freedom. We do not expect much from the present article to be applied when the man was not married to any uh, to another person during the concubinage with the slave who he should then marry according to the accept, uh, accepted rights of the church in the way uh, excuse me in this way she shall then be freed the child the children become free and legitimate and that's just so much garbage right there all right Again, 10 is skipped, so we go right to 11. Uh, we forbid priests from conducting weddings between slaves if it appears that they do not have their master's permission. We also forbid slaves from using any constraints on their slaves. Excuse me. We forbid masters from using any constraints on their slaves to marry them without their wishes. Well, children born from marriages between slaves shall be slaves, but if the husband and wife have different masters, they shall belong to the master of the female slave, not to the master of her husband. And we all understand that because the baby will need to feed and you can't take the baby away from mom while it's feeding and things like that. Uh, again, and most of this stuff is, again, when the child born. This doesn't really have anything to do once the child is of age. Uh, um, we desire, in Article 13, we desire that if a male slave has married a free woman, their children either male or female, shall be free as the mother, regardless of the father's condition of slavery. And if the father is free and the mother is a slave, the children shall also be slaves. So again, in these situations, we're dealing with what? Uh, their, their children, 
All right, so well, that goes further than dealing with uh, birth. So now we get to 15. So it skips 14 as well. All right, we did 13 last, and now we go to 15. So 14 is not there, and what was 10 also, and that wasn't there. We forbid slaves from carrying any offensive weapons or large sticks. At the risk of being whipped and having these weapons confiscated, the weapons shall then belong to he who confiscated them. The, sto uh, the sole exception shall be for those who have been sent by their masters to hunt and who are carrying either a letter from their master or his known mark. All right, here we have uh, 16. Uh, we also forbid slaves who belong to different masters from gathering, either during the day or at night, under the pretext of a wedding or other excuse, neither at one of the master's houses or elsewhere and especially not in major roads or isolated locations. They shall risk corporal punishment and shall not be less, uh, shall not, excuse me, punishment, shall not be less than the whip and the fur du Luis. Now, when I tell you this is the fucking, uh, uh, slave symbol, that they brand you with, you know, and they, it, it, it's modernly used constantly, and you put this on your ass for free. Now, why do you think fences use this image to keep niggas away? Why do you think football teams use this image to show that they own your ass? This is what you were branded with. Now, look again. He said, if you start meeting, you risk death, corporal punishment. You know what corporal punishment, punishment or death? Physical punishment such as caning or flogging. Punishment under law that includes imprisonment and death. All right? So if you meet up with another nigga from a different master, and they, they think you two are conspiring, don't you get it? They always want you separate, and they always gang up on you. You move into a white man's neighborhood and the white people go and knock on everybody's door. There's a meeting tonight. You better show up. But, but, I got my daughter's recital. You show up or else. And everybody shows up. Because they know if anybody says we're not showing up, they'll fuck them up. And they have this meeting. There's a nigger in our neighborhood. He moved in and, and then somebody shouts out, oh, he lives at 9671 blah, 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 Maple Springs. Right? They already fucking know. You, you, don't, you don't think this happens in these fucking neighborhoods? Their greatest advantage over you is keeping you separate. When you group together, the fucking cops are all over you. Hey, niggers, what are you doing? So in the past, they would they would, they would they would threaten you with beatings or, or even death. You're going to get the whip. You're going to get the beating. But if if they if if they find out you were conspiring, then one of you are going to die. And they always leave one, one, one they always leave one alive because that person can go and always tell the story of fear spread the fear to the next person 
Now imagine you and somebody else were, 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 were just hanging out talking and said you had different masters and they saw you. And they just started making shit up. Just like they do today. And then they want to get their jollies all fucking you up. So they tie you to something and then they beat you. Until whichever one of you dies first. And the Fleur de Luis. The branding iron. See, there's, there's so, they're so mature about it. They'll say, well, we'll brand an animal, but for you, we'll give you the Fleur de Luis. In fact, I've never seen a fucking cow branded with this fucking symbol. Yet you always see black people branded with this symbol. Now, it's easy for me to just type in what? On football teams? On football fans? Let's take the risk. Oh. That's why I hate these sensitive laptops. Weird shit happens. I mean, just lay your hands on it. On black people. Let's just type in on black people. Oh, they just give me the color black. Oh, there you go. There's this guy is a slave and 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 and, and literally because of our status. And what what did he do? He went ahead and tattooed the slave brand into his arm. You know, so even though they only gave me one, I expect to see jerseys. But but that that's even better. So, no less than the whip, right? They caught, they caught you on major roads in isolated locations. Whether it be day or night, even, even under the, the pretext of a wedding or other excuse, is forbidden for slaves to be <laughs> belong to different masters and gather together. So you get the shit beat out of you, or you get branded, and for frequent recidivic <laughs> recidivites. What the hell is that? that I guess that means uh, you keep doing the same thing. Let's uh, let's look that word up. Recid. Divits. That's a convicted criminal who reoffends, especially repeatedly. Oh, doesn't reoffends mean repeatedly? I don't know. I guess if you do something thirty years later, that's just reoffending. And then if you do something every three years and it's the same damn thing, it's just repeatedly. That's a new word that I can barely pronounce. It's the divots. Recidivists. Re -ci -div Tongue <sighs> twisters. And in other aggravating circumstances, they may be punished with death. A, de a decision we... Uh, we leave to their judge. We enjoin our subjects, even if they are not officers, to rush to offenders, arrest them, and take them uh, to prison, and to and that there be no decree against them, and that be and that there be no decree against them. Okay, so they so meaning the nobody presses charges against uh, one of their subjects that rushes to offenders to arrest them. Well, the hero in all of you, right? All right, so here we have uh, 18. So 17 is skipped. We go from 16 to 18. We forbid slaves from selling sugar cane for whatever reason or occasion. 
even with the permission of their masters, at the risk of a whipping for the slaves and a fine of ten pounds for the master who gave them permission and an equal fine for the buyer. All right, so they wanted to keep money out of your hands uh, at all means. Now, think about uh, how uh, they are with these artists. These artists look very glamorous uh, on on uh, on TV, but when they try to get real money out of their uh, accounts, uh, problems begin to arise. Uh, here we have Article 19. We also forbid slaves from selling any type of commodities, even fruits, vegetables, firewood, herbs for cooking, and animals either at the market or at individual houses, without a letter or a known mark from their masters granting express permission. Slaves shall risk the confiscation of goods sold in this way without their masters receiving restitution for the loss and a fine of six pounds shall be levied against the buyers. <clears throat> now, um, this is Article 19. Now they're going to skip a bunch. And there's going to Article 27. So that's a big jump. Uh, that's, that's eight places to go from... 19 to 27. Slaves who are in, infirm due to age, sickness, or other reason. So, you know, you're, you're not good as a slave anymore. Whether sickness is incurable or not, shall be, shall be nourished and cared for by their masters. In the case that they be abandoned, the said slave shall be awarded to the hospital to which their masters shall be required to pay six souls per day for the care and feeding of each slave. Uh, uh, then it skips to Article 29, excuse me, 31, Article 31. Slaves shall not be a party. Slaves shall not be a party either in court or in a civil matter, either as a litigant or as a uh, defendant or as a civic civil party in a criminal matter or and compensation shall be and compensation shall be pursued in criminal matters for results and excesses that have been committed against slaves so um i don't know if that means because, again, they were trying to keep money out of your hands. So, um, compensation shall be... So, if you're a slave, you have a master. I'm surprised that they don't state something like uh, the master receives the funds or something like that. Uh, here we have Article 33. So, script 32 is skipped. The slave who has struck his master in the face or has drawn blood or has similarly struck the wife of his master, his mistress, or their children shall be punished by death. <laughs> well, there you have that, right? Uh, again, it's not you versus your master. It is you versus the criminal court at that point. Uh, so we're gonna, it goes to 35, 38. The fugitive slave who has been on the run for one month from the day his master reported him to the police shall have his ears cut off and shall be branded with the fleur de luis on one shoulder. If he commits the same infraction for another month, again counting from the day he was reported, he shall have his hamstring cut and be branded with the fluid de Luis on the other shoulder. The third time he shall be put to death. So if you escape and you stay out longer than a month, you're going to get your ear cut off and you're going to get branded on the shoulder. If you do it again, it's going to happen again on the other shoulder. If you do it a third time, they're just out to, to kill you. Because <clears throat> you cannot have word 
that the same as a uh, slave escaped three times. You've got to send a message to the people, right? You've got to instill fear into the slave to keep him in his position. So here we have 39. The masters of freed slaves who have given refuge to fugitive slaves. Now, isn't that interesting? Why do they bring up freed slaves and then fugitive? The masters of freed slaves who have given refuge to fugitive slaves in their homes shall be punished by a fine of 300 pounds of sugar for each day of refuge. And then we have XL. What is L? I think L's 50. Check real quick. Can be 20. I have a dial. Uh, Oh, what just happened? These fucking laptops suck. Yeah, L is 50 right there. <coughs> so, where is it? There we are. All right. Here we have, uh, are we looking at 40 or 50 there? Yeah, we're looking at 40 right there. So the X before the L is for 40. All right. When the lower decimal comes before the larger, it means there's a subtraction happening. If it was I, L, then that would mean it was 49. So X, L, if it was V, L, it would mean 45. And X, L means 45. 40. The slave who has been punished by well, with death based on denunciation by his master and who is not a party to the crime for which he was committed shall be assessed prior to his execution by two of the principal citizens of the island named by a judge. The assessment price shall be paid by the master and in order to satisfy this requirement the intendant shall impose said sum on the head of each negro the amount levied in the an estimation shall be paid for each of the said negroes and levied by the tax farmer of the royal western islands to avoid cost all right. Hey, so everybody's going to chip in, right? All right? Let's see. That's Article 42. The masters also, may also, when they believe that their slaves so deserves, chain them and have them beaten with rods or straps. They shall be forbidden, however, from torturing them or mutilating any limb. At the same, excuse me, at the risk of having the slave confiscated and having extraordinary charges brought against them. Okay, so obviously, uh, the, the the idea that that beating someone isn't isn't really torture. <laughs> oh, uh, it's insane. So. Uh, here we have Article 43. We enjoin our officers to criminally prosecute the masters or their foremen who have killed a slave under auspicious under their auspicious control or excuse me under their auspices or control, and to punish the masters according to the circumstances of the atrocity. In the case of there is uh, an absur absolution. In the case where there is absolution, we allow our officers to return the absolved master or foreman without them needing our pardon. All right. Here we have 44. We declare slaves to be charges. We declare slaves to be charges and as such enter our community uh, community property 
they are not to be mortgaged and shall be shared equally between co-inheritors without benefit to the wife or one particular inheritor, nor subject to the right of promogeniture, promogeniture, Boy, to have that toilet paper with with words written on it, you know, and definitions, you know. Uh, state of being the firstborn, the right of secession belonging to the firstborn, especially by the with the feudal law, by which the whole real estate and and est uh, intestate passes to the oldest son. Okay, so. Uh, wife, particular inheritance in order. Uh, so, so you can't have a will and give a community slave away. The usual customs, duties, feudal or lineage charges, or feudal or signatural charges. Okay, let's grab that one. What does that mean? Uh, feudal lord, especially in France, well, that makes sense. We're reading some French shit. The landlord of an estate that was subdivided, subdivided that's the situation where among tenants who held their plots by a, a form of feudal tenure. Ten, uh, tenure. Well, it's a fucking it's a condominium. <laughs> With servants, uh, or 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 servant taxes amongst people that dwell together, they shall not be affected by the details of the decree, nor from the imposition of the four fifths in the case of disposal by death or bequeathing. All right, so Article 40, 47. Husband and wife uh, shall, excuse me, husband and wife, prepubescent pre pre children, if they are under the same master, may not be taken and sold separately. We declare a seizing and sale that shall be done uh, as such to be void. For slaves who have been separated, we desire that the seller shall risk their loss and that the slaves be kept shall be awarded to the buyer without him having to pay any supplement. All right, so if they separated your family and somebody uh, and, you, and you turn the master in and uh, you, you your family's return one way or the other to uh, to the new buyer at no charge to the new buyer all right so we have 55 so this skips from 40s uh, 47 all the way up to 55 masters 20 years uh, 20 years age 20 years of age may free their slaves by any act toward the living or due to death by any act toward the living so any act toward the living to free a slave i don't really understand that i, I mean i get the gist of it i guess uh uh you openly just say you're free or due to death. All right. So masters 20 years of age may free their slaves by any act toward the living or due to death without their having to give just cause for their actions. Nor do they require parental advice as long as they're, they are minors of 20, 25 of age. Okay. So... In 51, the children who have dis who are declared to be sole litig litigies by their masters or name 
as executors of their wills or tutors of their children shall be held and considered as free slaves. 58. We declare their freedom that is granted in our land, in our islands, if their practice of birth was in our islands. Excuse me, place of birth. <laughs> practice. Yeah, place of birth is in our islands. We declare also that freed slaves shall not require our letters of naturalization to enjoy advantages of our natural subjects in our kingdom lands or country of obedience even when they are born in foreign countries article 59 we grant to all slaves the same rights privileges and immunities that are enjoyed by freeborn persons so look we grant to freed slaves the same rights privileges and immunities that are enjoyed by freeborn persons we desire that they are deserving of this acquired freedom and that this freedom gives them as much for their person as for their property the same happiness and natural liberty as on all uh, has on our other subjects there you have uh Versilles, march 16 85 the 42nd year of our reign signed lewis and below uh, all right there you have it folks